Hello friends, welcome back to the tutorial. In this tutorial, we will study how can we represent a finite automata. We can represent a finite automata graphically also. When we represent it by a graph, then that graph is called transition diagram or transition graph. Nodes of that graph represents states of finite automata. And directed edges are labeled with input symbol. These directed edges which are labeled with the input symbol represents transition. Here Q1, Q2, Q3 and in Q4. These nodes of graph or we can say of transition graph or transition diagram represents four states of finite automata. And these uh, arrows represent transitions. Now consider this arrow. It is labeled with A. Now it is from Q1 to Q2. It means when the machine is in a state Q1 and it reads a symbol A, it will jump to state Q2. In a graphical form. Now we have to represent a finite automata graphically. Initial state is represented like this. Suppose Q1 is initial state, then we will put an arrow before it. All right, here Q1 is initial state. Now second thing is transitions. Transitions are represented by arrows. Suppose there is a transition that are Q1 A equals to Q2. It means machine on from state Q1 on reading an input symbol A where transits to Q2. Graphically, we can represent it by an arrow. And we will label this arrow by input symbol. A is input symbol. It means on reading input, machine will jump from Q1 to Q2. Next is final state. How will we represent final state graphically? We will represent graphically final state by encircling the node. Suppose Q3 is final state. Then we will encircle this node. So here Q3 is final state. So let us complete this automata P A. So in this automata Q1 is initial state and Q3 is final state. As uh, I have already told you final states can be one or more than one. In the initial state we will put an arrow before it <coughs> and to the final state we will encircle it. Now this graph can be represented mathematically as I have told in previous video that uh, this automata be m. m equals to q sigma delta q naught uh, sorry q1 because here the initial state is q1 and f where Q is the set of all states. It means Q equals to Q1, Q2 and Q3. Sigma is set of input symbols. So what are the input symbols are here? A and B. There are only two input symbols. And F is a set of final states. And here there is only one final state, Q3. <coughs> so, and uh, here we have mentioned that Q1 is initial state. Now we have to describe its transitions also. How can we describe it? To describe it, we will use transition function. C. C 
see the first transition of Q1. There is one transition of Q1 and which is for only for input symbol A. Delta Q1 A equals to Q2. Now define the transitions of Q2. Now Q2 has two transitions. One is for input symbol A and other is for input symbol B. What it does on reading an input symbol A, it jumps to final state Q3. And on reading an input symbol B, it remains in state Q2. Delta Q2 A equals to Q3. So it is a graphical representation and it is the mathematical representation. Now how can we represent it in tabular form? This is the automata and now we have to represent it in tabular form. First of all make a table. Right. In first column, describe only the states. Label this column with state. Right. Set and uh, inside the table, mark the columns with input symbols. There are only two input symbols, so there will be only two columns. Columns of this tables are labeled with input symbols here label this it uh, with state because here we write only the states now the rows rows are labeled by state q1 q2 and q3 q3 is a final state so encircle it q1 is initial state put an arrow before it now write the transitions of these states now the entry of this table will be the next state suppose in row q1 and column a in this entry we will write the transition of q1 on reading an input symbol a on reading an input symbol a machine jumps from q1 uh, when it is in a state q1 on reading input symbol a it jumps to q2 so here in this entry we will write q2 it means on from state q1 when it reads a it will jump to q2 there is no transition for input symbol b similarly write uh, the transition of q2 when it reads input symbol a it jumps to q3 when it reads input symbol b it remains in a state q2 there are no transitions for final state q3 so we can represent a finite automata in three ways first is in graphical form second mathematical this is the graphical mathematical and tabular form thank you very much